Well, I think it's uh, important to uh, to uh, relate this new kind of this new practice in architecture to uh, the field of education uh, because if people are not educated uh, properly to face the issues that I described in my uh, in my speech, uh, it will be very hard for architecture to play that role. Right? If we don't, if we don't uh, create the right people to do the job, uh, we can claim, we can hope for uh, this to happen, but in the end it will not happen. So how to educate architects to be this kind of uh, avid, uh, uh, curious um, uh, people who are not uh, shying away from uh, issues bigger than the discipline, bigger than the building, bigger than the specific techniques that they learned. I think it has very much to do with fostering a certain curiosity and a certain uh, courage uh, during education to make connections uh, and to think relationally and to uh, uh, combine different disciplines uh, because through this ars combinatoria in Latin, this, this, this art of combining things, uh, we can hope for architects to see that very different problems, very different issues may be interconnected and that by proposing designs, this interconnectivity between different issues may be solved. So I think that, that, uh, uh, that shift from an architecture focused on an object, focused on an image, focused on materiality, so to speak, even focused on constructivism, to an architecture which is about relations, about making combinations, about organizing processes, and also uh, fueling the, uh, uh, the debate and, coming and, and energizing people to play their part, you know, not just them as authors, but also uh, uh, the users, of, also the client, playing their fair part in creating our environments. And that, that's something that I really think should start already during education. At first sight, these new uh, smart uh, communication devices seem to be about the perception of architecture. You are wandering around in a city, you are roaming the streets, and you can perceive the past, per perceive the future. So it's a kind of... Uh, uh, it's, it's a kind of... Uh, uh, enhancement of architectural discourse and the architecture experience for visitors, for users, for viewers. But of course, you should also ask a question, what will this have to do with the architectural practice? The guys who are making those buildings, right? or are designing them. And I, I, I'm not finished with my thinking there, you know, it's all brand new. We are all novices in this, in this respect. But I do believe that also architects can, uh, uh, can play a role in in uh, defining those experiences. For instance, if, if you are uh, contributing not just to the physical domain with the building, but also contributing to the different time layers by which you can perceive this physical domain, for instance, by adding something to the database, you, you make a building, but you also add a experiential layer through uh, the databases that people have in their pockets or access to those databases by the smart devices, then you are becoming, as, a, as an architect, a kind of film director, right? or script writer, or a, a, a storyteller. And uh, this role for architecture is, of course, age-old, it's very old, but in a very new form. And I think that uh, might be very inspiring. But I do agree there are many architects that uh, believe that the fundamental quality of architecture is to elevate a building and to construct something. Right? And um, maybe that definition, that reduced definition of architecture uh, is uh, on the way, uh, re being replaced by new definitions of what architecture actually is and how architecture can be designed. A good vision of how the historical city in Italy could be uh, rejuvenated. Uh, beyond tourism, beyond tourism, beyond uh, just capitalizing on achievements of the past. If there would be a generation standing up and thinking about scenarios to re-see, to re-perceive this historical environment and create layers, maybe maybe the touristic layer will be there, you know, that's the details, that's the facade, it's there and it's okay. But maybe for this generation to express itself and to do something, to add something to this very dense, thick layer of history, 
maybe this app is an incredible device because without destroying the past, you could add another layer. Yes. Right? So you could, could, could create new stories that, are, that belong to your generation and, and add it to the existing one. And people can decide which layer they prefer. And the tourists will prefer the, 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 the tourist guide layer or the uh, existing facade. But maybe other people uh, uh, of your own generation may want to see what is the inventivity of these people to, to see this building differently or to do something with these details. You can start to animate facades. There is the existing one and to animate a facade or start to interact with other disciplines and have uh, a theatrical view of the city or a uh, dance view of the city. Why not? You know, there is so much more possible. I, I, many times before coming to Italy, there was this either explicit or implicit suggestion that uh, action is not possible because too much is fixed, yeah? too much historical meaning, too much historical fabric, uh, too much historical tissue of this uh, urban tissue. Uh, but you know that this is this is now uh, just one option. Other options are possible. And uh, it's not just physical reality and paper architecture uh, on your desk, uh, far away from the public perception. No, you can add your layer to the, the, the reality of, uh, of all people because all, they will all have this smartphone in their pocket. So, so you become an active citizen as architect rather than a uh, kind of dis detached specialist uh, 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 figuring out alternative scenarios that nobody will ever see.